Go on the screen. You don't tell us what to do. Yeah, I'm about to it, say, man. man, mind your lip. Yeah, read it. Oh, man, that's crazy. Facts. I ain't got, I ain't got it in front of me. Y'all got the even, You afraid. Listen, hey. you know how you know you're going to get by? Please don't put you know that. We, need to get, we need to see the blue letter. Listen, nah, well, don't do you won't says. even put your face on the screen. Talk about scriptures on the screen. Good night. Hey, maybe you should take your face off the screen. No, I'm, I'm, I'm messing with you, brother. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> well, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Why you wait? Why you ain't wearing the lampshade though? It's cool. Yeah. Uh, you gonna be wearing a body bag when this is all. Why you ain't wearing the lampshade? You supposed to look like you got a bright idea right now. Like, what? I don't even understand. Can we, can we get the blue letter on the screen? Put you it pull on it your up. screen. Put it on your know. screen. Why we gotta work for you? You on you your don't phone? Know how to do that, bro. You on your phone? Problem. You on your phone or you on your phone or laptop? Or a computer, yeah. Which one? All right, I'm gonna be kind. I'm gonna yeah, be nice. He ain't got the technical yeah. capability. I'm gonna be nice. We're gonna put it on the screen for you. He he forgot his computer. He I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna tell you something, Morris. For you to say you're gonna body bag us, man, you ain't got the right spirit. You look defeated already. Right. Yeah, you look defeated. Yeah, you do. Even your for real is like, damn, I really look defeated. <laughs> I'm, listen, man. I've been, you know what I mean? I don't think y'all know how long we've been doing this. You can't come with a, I'm gonna cut your energy with a butter knife. With a butter knife, huh? Yeah, you got butter knife. Pull it yeah, up for you. But we're gonna pull it for you. What What you want, Ruth? One is, you said six or 16? 16. 16. But he wanted in the blue letter. Go to blue letter. He wanted mm -hmm. in the blue letter. Y'all know nothing. They pulling that up, man. Let me tell y'all something this about this a, hair this crack. A layup. <laughs> I got this new hair crack for your hair. It's helping my hair grow. Y'all notice I don't tap my hair no more. Your rib bought one. She got it already. I thought I saw one yeah, on the table. Yeah, she took a picture of it and everything. Even, yeah. It's called the car grass. Excuse me. I said grass because little seeds in there. Car gas hair crack tonic. This that, is the that, cure all. That's fitting. That's the fitting title for what's about to happen to your man. You about to get a new man. Remember your first oh. man that used to read for you, dude, with the braids. I don't know what happened to him, but that's what comes that. I don't, know. I don't know. I've been on this show yeah, since. We've since been the on the show. <laughs> he cre uh, I created uh, the show, nigga. I took my braids out. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I have braids. Sometimes I don't have braids. Yeah, Kadaz, I created the show, nigga. Right. Shalom, yo, what's up, what's up? I ain't talking about so this the show. This, this, this hair crack, this hair crack will strengthen your hair, grow your hair. If you got an itchy scalp, dry hair, dandruff, this going to do it all. You see, I got my fenugreek seeds in there, my ashwagandha seeds, my rosemary leaves up in there. Got some pumpkin seed oil, some argon oil. Got all, every ingredient you need. To And listen, there's a sister that she sent me some hair grease. I'm going to see if we can work together to put a package together. You know what I mean? So I'm going to try her hair grease out. So shout out to the sister. I don't know if she want me to give her name out publicly, so I ain't going to say her name yet. But Ruth, Ruth one chapter six. 1, verse 16. 16. All right, so uh, the brother going to pull a, uh, the scripture up for you now. Oh, it's only $15, and right now I got a 25%, and this is 3.4 ounces. It's only $15. I got a 25% off sale, so you're getting it for about 11 and some change. So I got a sale right now. Make sure you hop on it. I do got Two new scents. This is called Dream Girl for women. And this is called Finesse for men. Because I finesse you sisters. The next thing you know, you a rib. That's a bar. <laughs> next thing you know, yeah, I'm just all y'all's rib. Yep, I'm right on there. I'm one of them hanging on the side. I'm just joking, y'all. I'm just joking. Please don't get all touchy and nothing like that. All right, you ready now? Yeah. All right. Now, Kata, where that where that word God is right there, Katazak said that was judges. That was blasphemy at his fans, right? He he took God out and then put some fake judge that he don't even know who it is, probably. Whoever he said is, is bogus. Now, let's open it up so we can see the word, the, the Hebrew. Yeah, yeah, open up for him. I listen. I'm waiting for him to make his point so I can yeah. destroy him. I just, I just want him to get built up. 
My point's going to get made. Don't worry about that. You're going to go on the fire for being blasphemous. Mm -hmm. Come on, nigga. So scroll down <laughs> to the word God. Lord, have mercy, man. Right there. Where it says, my God? Yeah. Click okay. on it. So I, okay, okay, I'm gonna tell you click something. On, I, don't, I don't really like. I don't really like all this. Click, click on, on it. H430. And all that. Yeah, it's Elohim. Yeah, click on H four three zero on the Strongs. Click on it. No, the other side. Dang, I don't even know how to use it. Strong, right hey, there. Stop. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop. No, stop sharing the screen. Stop sharing the screen. Stop click sharing. On. It. Stop sharing the screen. <laughs> Teach. Says stop share the screen. Teach. See where it says judges five times. No, we, don't see, we don't. We don't. We don't see shit. Teach. Let me. Let me tell you why I had him stop sharing the screen. Uh, uh, yeah, he took the screen. Took it off the say, screen. Me, I was about to you. crack. I was no, about no, to crack you man's head. Hey, hold on. Wait. 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 See, wait. One this second. is what I'm saying. This is why. Wait. So this is why y'all don't catch no bodies out doing this. She no, no, no. shuffle. You just asked for a favor. The favor yeah. that you the favor that you asked for was for us yeah. to share Ruth 1 and 16, right? That's the, the strong, so I could yeah, show right. I wanted yeah, to, I wanted to body the you, man. Hey, hold on, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Jay, you ain't gotta, for, for this part of the conversation, for this part of the conversation, you ain't gotta be aggressive. I just want to I just want to tell you why I stopped sharing the screen. Uh, you you asked for a favor of us sharing the screen so you could present the information you wanted to teach, right? Right. Now, when you talk talking trash to Kataza, you could have talked however you wanted to. I didn't care. But you're not going to talk to us and say, open that, do this. You're not going to talk to us like that when we're doing you. You're going to like, and that's to be the problem with brothers. Y'all don't know when to be aggressive and when not to. What you should have done as we open it up for you, you should be like, no, show me this right there. Show me that. And then once you got to the part that you want to teach, when you wanted to go in and challenge Kataza, you had full range. But you're not going to bark out orders in here like you in charge of us when we're doing you the favor. You understand the difference? I, yeah, this is what I'm saying. I, this is my I mean, resident voice. Before you, before you say you, this is what I'm saying, do you understand the difference? I understand what you're saying clearly. I'm saying this is my regular voice. So you wanted me to talk in another voice? No, I don't want you to talk in another voice. But the way you was talking, I didn't like it. Oh, all right. I just said. Now, I, I ain't talk talking about listen, and I ain't talk about when you talk to Kataza in the battle. I don't care how you talk in the battle to me or him in the battle. But when we helping you, you ain't gonna talk shit in your helping. I wasn't. I didn't say nothing. But click right there. I don't know. Was it me? Was I tripping? Nah, nah, I can't. Don't You're not tripping. I, okay, I want. Yeah, yeah, you the moderator, like moderator trying to help you out. You ain't gonna talk to my moderator crazy. I'm sorry. I'm saying this is my regular voice. You Can you apologize to my moderator? If your moderator felt some way about my regular voice, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what to say to the right, moderator. I'm gonna give you another shot then. And we're gonna see. Share the screen again. This is gonna be bad though. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. All right, so now we got the screen here. <laughs> But you didn't want him to click that. Go back one. Now go back down. Now what did you want him to click? Where it says, it's right there. It's cool. He can stay right there. Okay. Right? Judges. It says five times right there. Hey, hold right on. Wait, no, I think you might be behind us because on our screen, it doesn't, on our screen, we, you want him to click the H430? Yes. Okay. Click the H430. See, it, see his tone different? Say it's tone. I, I, I'm not even. That's what no I problem. said. They're talking no another voice. Got you. So now, where do you want him to go from here? You see the screen? I must be behind y'all still. On all right, right there it says judges. Right, the mm -hmm. the term for God where where Katazop is making his mistake. He's okay. saying it's for judges. Right, it's saying five I'm times. Kidding. So. Only now, and your, brother, your brother, just so you know, now that you challenge the Kadazai, you can talk as you want, brother. It's between y'all. Y'all got it. All right. Good looking. 
right there where it say judges, right? Five times. So I'm about to show you how wicked he is where he took God out and put judges in the roof verse. So scroll down just a little bit. <clears throat> You'll see where it says rulers, judges, divine ones, angels. If you scroll down some more and click the next button. Scroll down some more. You're trying to, you're trying to see the actual verse? Yeah, it'll show you where the verses is in the text. So it's going to show you the five times where it's used for judges. Keep scrolling down. So right, keep right there. Stop right there. It says rulers, judges, either divine representative at sacred places or reflecting divine ministry of powers. Right there. Exodus 1. Hold on, bro. You still scrolling down. I was reading from up there. Oh, oh you, you, watch, you watching on YouTube, brother. That's why you lagging yeah, right you now. Gotta, so you're hey, not bro, in time. Yeah, with us. you should stay in StreamYard and watch. From the stream, if you're watching on YouTube, that's why it's gonna look. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah. That's because I can't see it on my phone. It's so little. I gotta look on my TV. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, saying. so it's not. Yeah, so we doing what you ask, but when you watching on YouTube, you seeing the delay. Yeah, that's that's why you think he not in sync with you. No problem. We doing our best to give you training wheels right now and yeah. help you, especially for so somebody right. to come to cut. It's cool. You uh, right there is Exodus. You got Exodus one, two, three, four, and then uh, uh, Samuel, and then it says, "See judges right there." So right there, that's the only times that you could use judges. How Katazak is trying to use it in place of God. Now scroll down some more so we can see where is it used for Ruth. <clears throat> that's incorrect, by the way. That's cool. It only say five times, brother. So you only can use judges five times. I'm gonna help you out. Don't worry about it. But go ahead. I'm I'm waiting for you to make your point. So this way you can get right back in that body bag. Scroll, scroll down so we can see where the more times it's being used. No, you gotta go up and click in it there. Yeah, show all. You just gonna click show all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You going in the body bag, how does that? <laughs> I'm about to say, I don't even think he believes it anymore. Keep scrolling down to where we get to where we get the root. You going in a body bag, Katza? <laughs> Keep scrolling down So we get this. You'll see where it says roof. Hold on. Mm-hmm. I'm going to let him finish. Then I'm going to let y'all know what his biggest problem is. roof now over top of roof with the 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 part that roof is in it says god who is my stronghold who is my praise suffix and then it has 22 times including the phrase ruth is for twice right under the god who is my rock so when kapazak is trying to take god out of the verse right there we would have got him stunk to death back in the day and put a man or who a woman or whoever the judge that he's putting in that verse right there, he's taking God out and putting a man in there. That's blasphemous. I'm showing you right there where it says God is my rock. When he's when she's talking to to Naomi, she's talking about Naomi's God, not her judge. She clearly says it right there. And then I took him to the part where it had judges five times, and it showed you the five times where judges is being used in the Bible instead of God. It's in Exodus. It's not even in Ruth. Nowhere in Ruth is judges being used for God. 
It, it, then scroll down some more so we can see all the verses. If you scroll down, it'll show all the verses where God is being used, right? I'm just, I just want you to know I'm being very patient with him. I'm letting him get this complete thought out. Go ahead. I want you to get this all out because I want this to be clean. Clean, right there. Mm -hmm. Ruth. It's showing you all the places where it's rules for Ruth, right? Mm -hmm. None of those places that he's talking about is for God. If you click on to any of those joint, those right there for Ruth, and it'll say exactly what it's saying, it'll let you know that it's not talking about judges. We could go up in the Exodus for the times that it's being shown for Exodus and see that that word judges goes for where it's being used in Exodus. All right, can now, I respond? You can respond. I, I'm put my mic on mute. No sweat. I'm I'm gonna ask you some questions. You don't have to put it on mute. There's gonna be a little bit of a back and forth. Um, uh, sure. Do me a favor. In the same blue letter, give me uh, Exodus 22, and then give me I want to say verse 28. Go to Exodus 22. Drop down to verse 28. Now, let me tell you the problem with anybody who tries to read the Bible and doesn't understand it. There's something called context. When you go and you look up that H30, there's multiple definitions of that word. Now, I'm going to give you an example to show you how this word is interchangeable. Because in the English... Your, your screen isn't showing just for the public, even though uh, you wanted to have people be it. Can't nobody see what you're saying. Oh, there you go. There we go. So now, slide Nigga, back. shut up. Hey, you on YouTube watching, he, he, man. He just, he just helped us, actually. Oh, my no, bad. He actually, he actually just, no, he just helped out, Cap. You know what I'm saying? So now, right here, right, where's it says, thou shall not revile the gods. Oh, sure, I need to see. Oh, sure, I need to see. You, you, I'm not seeing the verse. You, you, you scroll down on that part. I need you to go up. There you go. Thou shalt not revile the gods, nor curse the ruler of thy people. Brother, this word gods, right? Is this the same H430 that we were just discussing inside of Ruth? Yes. It is. Oh. Now, in the context, now, I thought that if we see gods, you understand, there's gods we're not supposed to revile. Who are the gods we're not supposed to revile in this context, brother? Do you know? Explain it, brother. I'm, <laughs> this is, I want y'all to know, this is, this is, this is Lord Abba 2.0. Because he did the same thing. Y'all must have studied at the same school together. I'm waiting for you to stick the knife in your own belly. No, no, here's what I want, I, here's what I want to know. Do you know or do you not know? You do or you don't? I don't play Bible Jeopardy, brother. Just tell me what you Do you about. know or do you not know? Well, say the question again. I see. I, I'll, I'll slow it down for you. So now, when we see... Ashar, put it back on the screen. We both agreed right now that this word, gods, that we are not to revile, is the same word. 430, H430, the same word that's used in Ruth is used here. My question to you is, who are these gods in this verse that we are not to revile? Do you know, brother? Click on the word, and I'll tell you. All you got to do is click on the word. Scroll down to the word. Scroll down. Here's H430. It's the same word, Elohim. We pronounce it Allahayim. Okay, they pronounce it Elohim. I'm saying click on the H430 in that verse right there. Mm -hmm. Click on it. Who are these gods we're not to revile? Click on it, and I'll tell you. Click on we it. Just, on we the just clicked paper. on it. Now we see the context that it could be. Right. That's what I'm saying. We click on it, and we'll mm -hmm. figure it out. So who, so who is it? Now, here's the thing. You either knew or you didn't know. Now, now where, if where, he knew, he would have said it. 
the verse that we're talking about was Exodus what? Scroll, keep on scrolling down. 22 and 28. Okay, scroll down. So it is going to show us where it was at and what it's supposed to be used for. Scroll down. We're going to look for Exodus 22 right here. It should be coming up. Right. Right, right here. So stop right there. Where's it at? Exodus 22 what? Which one? Exodus 22 8. and 28. Okay, so right there is talking about judges like the judges which you're talking about. Not a God is talking about judges. Right but there. You, but you, but, but you mean to tell me though that in the English translation, even though it's talking about judges, it still says gods in Exodus. It don't. I'm showing you what it means when they use it. It means I'm, judges. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you. When, it, I'm when asking it's used you right very, there, very it means hold judges. On. Because hold on. Now bring me back to Exodus 22. Bring me back to Exodus 22 and let's go look at hey, the word. Because hey, hold on. Chad, you need to hold be on. looking wait, at wait, your wait, man's wait, head. Wait, come on. Wait, wait, wait. On your phone let me act like you don't want to witness this murder. This is what happens. Fact, when somebody keep watching because I don't even want you to be accomplished. This is what happens when somebody gets cut. Because you remember what he said earlier. Earlier he said judges is only used five times. And when he said it, he was specifically saying the English word judge. It could only be used in that context five times. Here we see the word gods and the context of gods because it's all the same word is what? Judges. Brother, you put yourself in the body bag. And no, this, is why, this is why, hold on, slow, bro, brother, when you went, when you went through, right, yeah. your whole yeah. rant, did I interrupt you? No, fact, you said you wanted I'm, to go back and forth yeah. with me, brother. I said, I said during my time, I wanted to ask you questions and oh, then we can go back and forth. You know, I would have been, I'll be on mute. I don't, I don't want to cut you off. I'd have went on I mute. Got you. So my point is, you not only agreed with me, they're the same word. You just agreed that this word says gods, but it means judges. Because <laughs> in this context, it's talking about the rulers of the people. Second question for you. During what time period does the book of Ruth take place? In the time of judges. Oh, in the time of judges. <laughs> In the in the time of Elohim, so now this is this is my question, right? Would would Ruth and would Naomi have the same judges if they lived in different lands? No, they wouldn't have the same judges. No, they wouldn't have the same. Now. Let me break this down for you since you don't know the Bible. Bring me to his verse. Look at his Bring face, me to bring, this, is his got, brother, this is why you got brother. This is why you got to put the weed down. You understand? <laughs> like, like, like that's the problem. You so high, and this knowledge is still going over your head. Mm. So here's what I want you to do: bring me to Ruth. Bring me to Ruth, and I want you to bring me to one and verse sixteen. So now, when we read this in proper context. Although you see the word God, what she's saying is when I go back to your land, your judge, your power, your ruler, your authority will be mine. This is not talking about another deity. This is talking about the same rulers and the same judges that we read about in Exodus, the 22nd chapter. You don't know the Bible. Mm. It's very simple. Can I can I talk now? Yeah, you could have. Yeah, of course you could talk. Okay, so at this point, I, I just want. Can I ask Cap a question? Which Cap? Captain, right next to you. Oh, he don't want to talk to me no more. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna just talk to you through him because no. he's on the top no. of your head. So I'm gonna ask him the question uh, so no, he can no, understand no, what's no. going on. Let me tell you something, man. You call Captain Tati Tati. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. You ask for Captain Katazai, you're going to get Captain Katazai. If you don't want to pick him, they got to exit stage left because he whooping your ass. That's almost like fear. That's almost like fear. Like, he want to talk to me like Katazai ain't going to hear what the fuck he's saying. 
Y'all you know, want to talk to his master? Talk to Katazak. I'm talking to Katazak oh, right now. All right. So Katazak, did you notice that when you took me where's to Exodus? Wait, wait, wait. Say, say that again. Say, say, say that name say again. That, say that name again. Bum ass nigga. That's your fucking name. <laughs> what do you say? This nigga. So let me tell you how you in the fire. He you blasphemous. He in his feelings. Big time. Look at him. Hold on. Now, you, know, you know why? You know why? You know why? You know why he called me Katazak? You know. You know why you try to call me You can use the word judgment. You like cocking your mouth. You like cocking your mouth. It says not nothing about judges, bro. That's why he didn't want to say it again. like blow rod. That's why he didn't want to say it again. So now, so now, if I call him a bitch ass nigga, I'm the bad guy, though, right? That's that's what happened. If I, I call, don't see how is that, is people that what think it is? saying cock desire is a flex when you're a man. How is that a flex? You putting rod in your mouth. And listen, and we already how is that a flex? I, I, I need to know. We, maybe the maybe the gravel pick can help me out. We already know you like sucking on things. You over there sucking on that blunt. Right. You get what I'm saying? You like blowing shit. Right. But I, I maybe the chat can let look at it. Maybe the chat can let me know. <laughs> How is it a flex? Uh, why are you trying to do the question? Though? Emotional damage. How does that name I, Wait, I need to know. Why is it a flex? And I need Gravel Pit to help me out. Why is it a flex to say cock to Zah? I just, I really need to know that because when men say that, you're gay. Sound like a dick. You're a homosexual. <laughs> oh, you're putting what? rod in your mouth. And this is weird. Wait, you realize that? Yeah, bro, you super weird. Yeah. I'll, listen, you gonna talk about my accent? I can't see. Weirdo. So let's talk about the scriptures. You didn't you want. You want to talk about the yeah. scriptures? He want to talk to the I mean, let me let me get the real gods and judge me to pronounce his name. Let me talk to Cap. He want to read this thing. You know what? Because you know what he really wanted by throwing the ad homs out. He wants us to kick him off the stage. This, I don't this, want this, you to this, kick me off the this, stage. This, this, I, he this, said this, something this, about this, me this, saying this, your name, this, and he said it in a funny way. He was so so I don't want to say your name again. I tried to. Say, I wasn't trying to be That's disrespectful you, when I said your name. You feelings, no. If you wasn't trying to get disrespectful when you said my name, you wouldn't have followed it with whole ass nigga. You wanted to be no, disrespectful. Right. Was to but here's no, but here's what really happened. I pulled the bitch out of you. That's mm. what happened. Well, let's go to the scriptures and let's see. Let's go then, ho ass nigga. All right. <laughs> we're gonna see who the ho ass nigga really is. He crossed the so line. When you went to Exodus, you show you went to the five times that it says in judges that you could use it. And then I showed you in Ruth when I dropped down that you can't use judges right there. You could use God as my promise. So drop down and let's see where what it says where you could use Ruth. Right. You took me to the to the five times where you could only use judges. It's in Exodus. No, so I don't gross. understand how you trying to act like you could take me over the roof and then use judges again. It showed you you only could use judges five times in the Bible for God. This problem. Now, now let me show you. Bring me back to Exodus the twenty second chapter, and I'm going to show you why you're full of shit. And um, I'm going to show you how you don't know the Bible. Bring me um, to Exodus 22. Drop down earlier. Go, give me the verse 5 or 6. Oh, scroll, yeah, up, right scroll, up, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Be quiet. Scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Right? So now, what, scroll up a little more. Uh, Let me see. Doom, doom, doom. Uh, where is it? It's supposed to be alive. Scroll down a little more. Mm. Right. Boom. So now, 22 and 8, right? When you turn around and you read this, this is when it literally says the word judge. And it will literally say the word judge five times. However, scroll down. Go back. Give me, give me back to verse 28. 22 and 28. But when I showed you this... And it says, thou shalt not revile the gods. It doesn't say judges. So this is not one of the literal five times that it's going to turn around and say judges. But the context of this word gods is still a judge or a ruler. And you agreed with that. You acknowledge that, which means there's a context to the word. Because when you go back in the Hebrew, 
you're only going to see one word, Allahayim or Elohim, whichever pronunciation you would like to use, which means the context is going to let you know what it is. And I'm telling you that the context in Ruth is ruler, judge, or authority. And even when you turn around and when you say, when was this written? During the time of judges. You're still proving my point when it comes down to the context. Because, again, you don't know the Bible, ho-ass nigga. Okay, could he put it back on the screen? He took it off the screen. So when you go in that roof, um, hey, he could click it on there? right there. He could click on H43 from right there. And we're gonna get the context. No, you good, Ashari. What's up? Four, I, 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 I can't. I didn't hear what he said. Click on to the four, the H four three from right there where you're at. Click on to it. That's not the H four three. Well, I mean, we'll put it in twenty. It's in talking to you. I don't think I'm, talking I'm, I'm, to you. I'm talking to the brother of Shaw, so he could grab uh, uh -oh. the right the right word for you. My fault. Again, out go, bring, bring it back for me. Outline of biblical usage. Rulers, yeah. judges, divine ones, angels, gods, God, See. goddess, godlike. The context is going to let you know what this is. This is the usage of all of those different words. You right. don't know that. But, so okay. it's showing but you what judges. I'm, no, I'm about to show you. Right there, it says judges. You could use it fat. Five times there's only five times, not more than what you want to say it is. He's showing you right there, five times in the Bible, you could replace the word God with judges. Now scroll down right there. Scroll down some more. That was Exodus 20, 20, 28. Yeah. So where you see the 22, where it say Exodus, just scroll down a little bit, probably like to the next block. Light work. It really is. I know. So right there, 22. Stop, stop right there. 22 and 8, right? That's where you took me to. Now, no. The other, what'd you say? No. No, you. The, that's the first place you took me to. Right? No, that's, that's, that's incorrect. Mm. I took you to 22 and 28. Mm-hmm. All right, and this is what I'm trying to say. Let's scroll down and find where Exodus 22 and 28 is to see what the what the, what it's actually talking about, because it's not up there where you're using judges, right? It's not up there. We see 22 and 28 ain't up there. So let's scroll down till we find the one you used. It's not going to change what I said. <laughs> what did you say? I, I said the same thing that you said, that when you see that word gods in Exodus 22 and 28, it's talking about a judge or ruler. The context oh, no. is reverse. Well, hey, 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 as I'm going to tell you, point, you know, okay, you, you know what the two is. We had a misunderstanding if you thought that's what I was saying. The, the two different conversations that y'all having, y'all actually are battling two different concepts. You see how you keep saying five times, brother? You see how you keep saying that, right? Yeah. You keep saying five times. Go back. Pull up the definition. Pull up the, the screen with the usage. Go back there. Scroll up to where it got the usage. See, it keep going up. See where it got judges five times, God 244 times, God one time, God us two times. So in this brother's mind, because it says judges five times, there's only five places that you can use the word God to mean judge. That's what he's, that's his position. Correct? Correct. Right. But what you just said agreed to when he brought you to Exodus 22 and 28, which is not a part of these five times, is that that God's in that uh, context is talking about judges and not gods. So what you just did by agreeing with Katazai is eliminate whoever came up with five times of this. This is someone's commentary of how many times the word judge can be as God, and you believe that. 
But you can't believe that because when Kadazai brought you to Exodus 22 and 28 and said, thou shalt not revile the gods, you said that that's talking about judges. That's outside of the five of this definition, because even when you try to go to Exodus 22 and 8 and you thought that's the verse that Kadazai was talking about, that was not the verse. He was talking about 28. So you, by your own agreement with Kadazai, eliminated the five times being the end all be all of how, of when the word judges can be excuse me when the word god can be applied to judges so what you're trying to argue to defeat kataza you defeated yourself when you agreed with him with exodus 22 and 28 and that's just listening brother right. listening can is I, an can i say something now yeah come there was a mistake and i tried to correct the mistake so when I, I said that to him, I said there was a misinterpretation of what I heard, thought he was saying, right? So then I said, well, let's go back in there and let's scroll down and see where 22, where 22 and 28, it's going to be listed. So we could scroll down and see what it actually meant for God's right there. But you're still going. I think you, I'm, I'm going to say it again. No, I, you, I heard you. I, 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 I so can you repeat myself. what I'm saying? Can you repeat I what said, I'm saying? You saying that when I agreed with Katazak, when I said it was judges. Before I got 20, to the agreement, before I got to the agreement, what did I say? Were you saying you were talking about when the judges in 28, right? Mm -hmm. When I said no, it's it no, God in 28. I'm going to say it again just so you can understand. I'm going to say it again so you can understand what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. Because the Blue Letters website says judges can only be used five times, you believe that. So that's your governor. Your governor is that the blue letter says five times. So anytime I see the word God, if it's outside of those five instances for judge, then that's not the case. That's your position because the blue letter says that. But just because the blue letter says that does not mean that that's correct. Because in Exodus 22 and 28, the Kadazai pull, that's not talking about um, the most high. That's talking about the same thing of judges. Just like what he pulled in Ruth is talking about judges. When people look at the blue letter as the end all be all, the blue letter was never meant to be the end all be all. It's just someone's opinion of the definition of the words in there. I don't want I don't want to make a scene like I'm discrediting blue letter. I'm not doing that. But the part that you're looking at as far as usage, that's someone's opinion as opposed to the definition of the words. That would be more definitive. Like the, the, the definition of words, that's definitive. When you go to biblical uses, how many times it's used and uh, what, it, what it's applied to, now that's someone's interpretation. And you're just trusting the interpretation of the blue letter. So anything outside of them five, you're going to argue with Katazai about, including the conversation y'all having right now. Right. And, and I'm saying that I, I understood that. And that's why I said when me and Katazai was having our exchange, if I was, if I misquoted myself when I when I was saying that I agreed with him with judges right there, I didn't know that that's what we were saying. So if I said that I was wrong right there, right, and I'm saying that we we go into the scroll down and find 22 and 28, we can actually see what is being said right there. So I still hold my stance of the five times, right, and even if I misquoted and said that I was it was judges right there, that would only mean that I was wrong, right? I'm saying that I was wrong by saying that. And I'm saying that if we go back up, if the brother put the uh, back up on the screen, then mm -hmm. we could see that we could just find out what it's saying for 22 and, and uh, 28. It's going to be- For that word, the gods? For the word, the, the where we were going back and forth with in H, H3, H30. So you're saying you didn't give the correct answer. Kyle is like, he didn't give you the correct answer on Exodus 22. And uh, if that's what, that's what he's what he saying. Said. That's what he's trying to say. It, that's so what I'm saying. saying. So then what is the correct answer? I'm saying let's go up in the in the and look and see what it's supposed to say. That was the whole reason why I wanted it. So, so you're saying the blue letter is your authority? Mm -hmm. No, I'm saying that the blue letter, when it's saying five times to be used for the word judges, is showing the five times that it's so, used. So, so you're so, saying so you're saying that's the authority. Which is what I'm on saying. this subject right here, if we go to the verse 
where you're talking about 22 and 28, we could just look and see what is how it's being used to see if you, you so, could so be right. Is that the authority, yes or no? Yes. Okay, that's all I wanted to hear. Ashar, help him find it. <laughs> like, why is that like pulling teeth? I'm just letting you know you continuing to set yourself up for failure. All right. We'll see. In the Strong's definition, I think you should like when um you know that uses of you have five. This is when you actually read that, go up a little bit. I don't think that he gets yeah, I don't think it's the literal word. It's not the context of if it's a ruler or a judge. We'll see. Hey Judah, I'm not gonna let's jump. Let's just find 22, 28, and let's see what it what it's saying right there. Yeah, just be patient, brother. Oh, we got a lag, so I, you know, I'm hearing no, I'm hearing. No, no, leg. it's no, it's 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 not you, bro. It's some nutcase who who thinks that you should get bumped and he should yeah, be talking I'm, instead like, of you. But to, we trying to still me to give get you the rid time, of you so I can bring him on. And I'm like, when we finish. We'll go. Like, I'm trying to be very fair with you tonight. I've been extremely patient. Yeah. I stopped Cap from trying to jump down your throat. You know what I'm saying, Paul? You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying there was a little lag, so I'm hearing stuff a little bit behind y'all. Oh, no, no sweat. sweat. So, so can you go to <laughs> what you're saying, Exodus 22 and 28, that we're gods? What does that translate to you? Is it a ruler, divine, angels, God? What, what does it translate to to you? That's why I wanted to scroll down so I could get the proper definition. So I don't have to guess. When we scroll down, it's going to say what, what it means for that verse. And then I'll tell you what I, what I think it, what it means. I, when, when, when you were saying that, right, I was trying to scroll myself to find, like, what is the usage of it. But um, it doesn't do that. I don't, I don't see that. Yeah, it does Exodus 22 and 27. It does Exodus 22 and 8. Uh, 22 and 27, like Ashar says, but I don't see 28. So now that eight isn't there, and if that's your authority, then you'll never know. Well, we gotta, we could just scroll all the way down, and then it'll show. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm actually uh so trying to scroll to where the box is at. Where the, yeah, where I'm, that's stuff. yeah, I'm actually trying to do that for you. Um, as well, it's amazing. The blue letter got to teach you. Uh, the Bible that's crazy to me. It's not here. It just says 22 and 7. Yeah. Tough break. You'll never know. But 27 doesn't say the word God, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. What word would it say, Ashar? 22 and 27. Yeah, Exodus. Click on it. It'll say what it say. Just put this. Yeah, Exodus twenty two and twenty eight. When it says revile the gods, that's not in here at all. Actually, damn brother, the blue light is letting you down right now. Twenty two and twenty seven doesn't have the word God. It's God or God. So are you telling me that the blue letter could make a mistake, Ashar? Yeah, Exodus twenty two and seven. Absolutely. It says for. That is his covering only. It is his raiment for his skin wherein he shall sleep. And it shall come to pass when he crieth unto me that I will hear, for I am gracious. But, it's under ruler and judges. But he said that this is the authority. So if it has the authority and we see that word and it's under H430 and we can't find the definition. So without the blue letter, we'll never know what this means. No, we can understand what it means because in that verse right there, 22, 27. Where is it using the word God at? That's what that, that's, 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 that's what we're saying, bro. That's what I'm, what I what I'm trying to find. I'm saying I says I, the I am right there. That's that's what I thought. I thought the I am would be it, but when I go to the interlinear in the blue letter, it's not H thirty. It's H five eight nine. It just has the N and I because H thirty is in verse twenty eight. Yeah, I don't. So it's not actually in there for that so i'm I gonna, mean, so I'm, gonna a, I'm gonna ask point. you again what yeah. then is the context in verse 28 and this this will be my answer for you right 
Okay. You have to tell me what it is. And then, we, no, no, we told no, you. No, no, we told you it's what the, we it's said. Either it is. you we know said, or you right. don't. Do you know or not? You didn't let, look, brother, let me just finish, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I said, mm -hmm. you tell me what it is, right? You told me what it is, and I can agree with you if that's your abs uh, assertion right there, because we don't have no right. nothing to go by, right? So at this point, since there is nothing. To, for us to go by, if that is what you're you saying, say it's nothing for us to go by, you got to say it's nothing for me to go by because we know Ooh. what to go by. Okay, well, this is what I'm saying. It's nothing for me to go by, right? There you go. So That's since there's nothing for me to go by, I'm gonna go with your assertion right there. But I'm gonna say this: when there I, is, I wouldn't do that. I would. I actually wouldn't do that if I was you. I wouldn't go with our assertion, and the reason why I wouldn't go with our assertion. Because if you're trying to win this conversation, you don't want to go by our assertion because the whole point of us not needing East War, but just to know the scriptures, the same way Ruth 1 and 16, that God is talking about judges is the same way Exodus 22 and 28, that God is talking about judges. So if you're going by our assertion, it was nice talking to you. We could talk to somebody else. No, what I'm saying is your assertion right there, right? I'm saying that that's not when we got an actual list for it, we could see what it actually the list is. is wrong. But the list is incorrect. It's not up there. The you, list, don't, you don't have an answer for it. It's not on the list. Answer. We, uh, the What's answer, the answer? What's the answer then? Is, is we could go where Roof is and see what it exactly is. No, no, no. <laughs> Exodus 22. It's lock it, Cap. Exodus 22 and 28. Uh, Exodus 22 and 28. That, what is it? You have to exit every verse that's in the Bible for no, every you would have to do that. No, 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 no. You would have to do that because you're losing the East Ward's number of times as your authority. We don't. Yeah. Scripture don't not, say he's Hold on, wait, 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 don't got nothing to do no, with nothing that's that I was from talking your, about. This, 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 I was okay, talking about hey, brother, hey, brother, I, I just want to teach you something, right? I'm not battling you right now. I just want to teach you about battling, right? Some people use the word debate. I like the word battle. Y'all are arguing over the word God in Ruth 1 and 16. Your position is that it doesn't mean judges. Katazar's position is that it do mean judges. In order for us, the listening audience, can determine who's the winner of the argument, you have to present your evidence. He has to present his evidence. Your evidence thus far is that in the Blue Letter Bible, it says that the word judges is used for God five times and Ruth 1 and 16 is not in it. That's your position, correct? Not all the way, but my position is in Ruth and 16 that is talking about God's how the definition for Ruth is being put. So it's not just but it's not judges, judges right? right but, but, but what I'm saying is your position is that that is not that word God is not judges based on the blue letter saying it's five times and that's not one of the five, correct? I'm saying I'm basing it on where it has Ruth the definition for God. It's not saying judges. It has where hey, hey, it, but, but it before, has a definition. Before, before we let you go out, can you, can you tell me the context? In Exodus, I, in Exodus 22 and 28, can you tell me the context or not? I'm saying that has nothing to do with what Ruth is. When we even, have the even, even, if it, even if it doesn't, oh, even for argument's sake, even if it doesn't, can you tell me the context or not? The context is saying that she wants Naomi's. I ask you, God. Exodus 22 and 28. Can you tell me the context of Exodus 22 and 28? I told you already. You didn't. No, he said he couldn't. He said he would have to you, go. With can you or search. can you not? Put this put the definition back up there so I can read hey, it. Hey, all. We'll, we'll talk to you later. I, I appreciate talk you calling. Back up there no, so I, I can read I it. Think, I think, I think talk to you later. Wait, yeah, we'll, talk. We'll, we'll talk to you later. I, oh, you because, got, when you, know when you say get rid of him, just get rid that, of him. That's, don't that's, care what he's talking about. That you should go home and do your homework. And now the reason why I wanted to drag that last point on for everybody listening before we bring up, you know what I'm saying, the next brother, is because I want you to know that they claim to know the Bible. That's and when I find around. and when I find a word, no, that's this is that's JJ. What does his name say? I don't know. Can you can you?